Yep, that's a frog while I'm pit pulling. Ding, 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 ding. Boing, 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 boing. Right. Um, okay. Now I'm going to take that back out. Now I know it fits. And put some glue on it. This stuff. Yep. Now again, as I've said before, there's no hole underneath here anywhere. It won't be anywhere here because I have to make special considerations. But the points are in, the wires are added. Well, simple as that. I'll now do the same to this one. Okay, so I better explain what's going on with this one. Obviously put that in fine with the Evo stick. This one has been a bit of a pain. I had to cut some sleepers off here again. Uh, I struggled about, took about four attempts, when I finally did get it in, this was too far away, so I've had to, had to drill out the the feed holes this way a little bit, which may, means there's a big hole, which means when you come to ballast it, it's all going to fall down. So all I've done is slipped a piece of random paper. Now, as, as you know, I don't like paper and card, but I think it'll be okay. It's just a little teeny bit stuck down with some super glue. And I know from previous experience, paper and super glue makes a very hard shell, so that's not going nowhere. And that stopped the ballast and the glue falling down. This was springing up a bit. I did try to use the Evo stick on this point, but because I had so much trouble, it kept drying, so I had to keep cleaning it from underneath, and it was a pain. So I just simply tagged it with a little bit of super glue under that sleeper, and a little bit there on each end, and that's been perfectly sufficient. Point modifications done, points installed, but the motors are not installed. So Probably going to cut a groove, wire and tube, not sure. We'll come to that soon. Right, so these little grooves. Ruler, thin craft knife, a fatter one that needs a blade changing. Nice bendy file so you can get this seesaw action. And now. More nasty stuff. Oh yes. So here we go. We need to get a camera stand. <laughs> Truth be told, I don't know how deep this needs to be because I'm going to buy some tubing and some, probably some piano wire or something that people use for wiring tube. Because technically, this is going to be a little bit of wiring tube but still operated by a point motor. Um, it might be a bit tricky to set up, but yeah, I'm going to leave that until I buy the stuff so I know how deep it needs to be. And then when it is done, it's going to get covered over with uh, road effect, I guess. In fact, I found a good way to get some more depth. Still might have to be much deeper. <coughs> Points are not knackered. Good. Now I'll leave it. Right, I made some progress. Ok, 
Okay. Motor's in position. Found some thin it's copper with a 0.9mm rod inside. Took a while to get the bend correct. It's a bit of a fiddle, trying to get the shape of it so it actuates properly and doesn't catch on locos. And here it's just literally curled round. But if you operate from the bottom, a little bit of slack helps the uh, polarity switch to move all the way. Right, another day. This is what I've been using. Um, my camera focus is wank. Anyway, blah blah blah. Already explained it. I'm going to attempt to film me making this one. Whether it's going to work out or not, I don't know because it's incredibly fiddly, a lot of trial and error, and a complete pain in the ass, if I'm honest. But we'll give it a go. If not, I'll just turn the camera off and show it you when it's done. All right. Okay. Thread it in. A bit of excess, clip it off about here. In fact, no, I'm not going to clip it off because last time what I did was wrapped it around the post. Try and bend the end. Bend has to be a bit more. Let's try that. I'm going in from the top because it's easier, basically. Less chance of it catching on anything. I know that's visually a bit ugly, but again, I don't mind too much. How it looks, as long as it's functional, it doesn't catch on things. There's a compromise that I can accept. Right. Doesn't seem to be catching. So I'm going to do exactly what I did before, very crudely. I'm going to get my favourite super glue out, Power Bond 806. It's basically like half X, just industrial strength. And I'm going to just put a blob of glue there, a blob of glue about here, just to fix down this copper pipe. Um, right, what I did before is I bent it around this, but I need to make sure this is approximately in the centre. So I'm just going to have to get my head underneath. A bit awkward. Right, about there. I'm essentially making a kind of a washer, sort of. A bit of a fiddle. Don't know the best way of doing it. Just winging this one. Now, a little bit of slack here kind of helps because it means the polarity switch can travel further. Let's check underneath. Yeah, you've got full range of motion, so that should not be an issue. Just getting this piece sorted out.
can bend this a bit more. Right. I'm happy with that. I wouldn't recommend using Zorn track cutters um, to cut up these with. That's all I had, but as you can probably see through there, there's little holes now. A previous pair I knackered and I turned them into wire cutters, but there's a certain hole where the groove is, so I'm just going to use the same hole. Make sure it's not too low. Seems good. So these little pieces here, now, let's pull the camera out. As I said before, you're going to have a siding going here, and then in front you're going to have another siding, and about here you're going to have a good shed. Right, so all this area here is going to be road. So for these tracks and, and these pieces, I'm going to have a, a removable road piece. Okay. These bits have to stick up slightly. I don't know how I'm going to disguise them yet, probably just some crates or a vehicle or something. Right then, I've got my bod rig set up now the wiring's done. So, let's have a look. It's an old engine, that's my excuse. Alright, let's flip, let's flip the switch. Seems good to me. Now I'll test the next one. Right, this little bit where the switch blade joins to the closer rail, this little bit here, it's catching on sometimes. Or at least this engine is. So, I might have to give it some gentle filing. Don't know, but anyway. Sometimes it catches, sometimes it doesn't. Now for the points. Apart from the, the old stall, yeah, seems to be working. So that's a success, just need to make sure when I cover it over I don't make a pig's ear of it.